Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimic Sports Update powered by Budweiser. So the Jaguars are nearly a two-touchdown underdog against the Steelers, and rightfully so. Think about it. Ben Roethlisberger threw five touchdown passes last week, and the Jaguars haven't shown that they can really stop anybody, and particularly when they couldn't stop a rookie quarterback, not anybody has, well, virtually nobody, nobody has any confidence in them at all. So here they are, uh, one and four, headed to Pittsburgh, one of the most difficult places to play, against a... Still a traditional rival for the Jaguars. Played in their division for a while. They were the model that Tom Coughlin used to get the franchise going. And, and obviously, now that they're in different divisions, it still is a rivalry when they face each other. It's a tough game for the Jaguars, but you never know what's going to happen, and particularly when you have a rookie quarterback. If things like click for Blaine Gabbert, who knows? The Jaguars could look like that team that scored that first touchdown against the Bengals. It doesn't get any easier. The following week, the Jaguars will be at home. It's a Monday night game against Baltimore, and then they finish up this first half of the season against the Houston Texans on the road. A lot of people have asked me, hey, will Del Rio make the end of the season? Will he be fired at the bye week? It has to do, I think, with what happens here in the next three weeks. Not if they win games, but how competitive they are about not being embarrassed, about them looking like a well-coached team, about not not being able to get a two-minute drill run or having the snap count or having a guy field a punt. And speaking of punters, the Jaguars did sign Nick Harris, who has 11 years in the league, has a strong leg. And, you know, it got me thinking, now wait a minute, Matt Turk has always been a very effective punter, but... All of a sudden, the Jaguars signed him after a long career and asked him to change his putting style from being a hang time guy to being directional. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that uh, a punter is the difference in a game, but you wonder about sometimes the decision making when those are the things that even we notice right away. The Jaguars uh, have a little tough road in front of them, as do the Gators, by the way. But remember this, Florida plays against Auburn this week on the road. If they were to come up with a win against Auburn, they still control their own destiny in the SEC East. It would mean that they would have to beat South Carolina and Georgia, obviously, and Vanderbilt in order to advance. But this game this week is very, very important for Florida if they hope to be part of that SEC championship picture. I'm Sam Kavaris. That's the... Nimnik Sports Update, powered by Budweiser.